the station that stands for you. This is KCTV5 Campaign 2020. Welcome into our KCTV5 election headquarters. I'm Brad Stevens. And I'm Ellen McNamara. We stand for you and we're keeping a close eye on all of the races across Kansas and Missouri. And in Kansas, a major race in District 3. Democratic Representative Sharice Davids is being challenged by Republican Amanda Atkins for that seat. Here are the results so far. Only 1% of the precincts, though, are reporting. So this is very early right now. Sharice Davids, 56% of the vote to Amanda Atkins, 42% of the votes. Yeah, these numbers are still trickling in at this hour. We also want to take a look over on the Missouri side where Governor Mike Parson fighting for a second term against Nicole Galloway. This is now with 17% of the precincts reporting. Nicole Galloway with 63% of the vote. Mike Parson with 36% percent of the vote. Uh, still a long, long ways to go in this race. Governor Parson is watching tonight's results from the Missouri GOP watch party in Springfield at the White River Conference Center. And that is where our Emily Rittman is live tonight. Emily. Ellen and Brad, we are still waiting to see Mike Parson come in and greet his supporters here in this room, but we do know that he is headed here tonight. And take a look at this crowd. This crowd size has grown quite a bit since you checked in with us last at 630. Now, we talked to several voters who say they chose Mike Parson because of his background in law enforcement and the fact that he is a third generation farmer. His campaign manager told us he spent election day on his Bolivar farm before he will arrive here at the watch party. He just finished a week long bus tour pushing for last minute votes. Turnout has been historically high. I think we've seen that. We're gonna see record turnout tonight and we were encouraged by that because uh, as we've traveled across the state in the last week, the governor's hit more than f nearly 40 stops and the energy and the momentum from uh, the message that the voters or that the governor's delivering to Missourians about his balanced approach, protecting law and order and getting our economy back up and running is, is uh, voters are responding very positively. And now we won't hear from Governor Parson until he addresses this crowd on this stage tonight. He hasn't done any interviews just yet, so we will have to wait and see exactly what kind of speech that will be as more election results roll in. Reporting live, Emily Rittman, KCTV5 News. Emily, thank you. Our Greg Payne is in Columbia with Nicole Galloway's campaign. And Greg, she has to be uh, feeling good about these early numbers. Yeah, Brad, one of the interesting things we had mentioned about this at 6.30 is that it is hard to actually, you know, feel the room because the room is not here. I mean, where I'm located at is where media has set up. And normally during this period of time, you would see the candidates, you would also see the supporters, kind of their reactions to everything. But that's just not the case this year. So don't know 100%, you know, what's going on with her and, and the, the group of family members that she's currently with. So that's kind of the situation that we have here is just it's kind of a waiting game. We haven't seen Nicole Galloway at all. We're expected to see her, you know, when the uh, election results officially come in, whether she wins or loses she's supposed to be heading over to the podium right over there set up for her, but we have not seen her at all and as you had mentioned you know you were asking you know what what what's the room feel like what's what's her reaction well we we have not been able to you know feel that you know emotion and the stuff that we would normally see during the election period of time because it's just different ellen Greg, thank you. And so right now on our website at KCTV5.com, I can tell you exactly why Nicole Galloway is doing well early with 17% of the precincts reporting. We can zoom into Missouri and see, again, why she's winning. So right now, if you look at St. Louis County, that's where the numbers are coming in the most. So uh, right now she is winning there because those numbers are in her favor. So we have Galloway in St. Louis County. She's 69% of the votes reporting, 40% of the precincts reporting in St. Louis County. You look at Jackson County. Well, she's doing well in Jackson County as well. 58% of the vote in Jackson County. So throughout the night, this is all going to fill in, right? So there's going to be a lot of red in the middle, maybe except for Boone County, but you're going to have blue likely Jackson County, blue in St. Louis. It just depends on how this all plays out, but we are going to be breaking this race down throughout the evening, county by county. Brad. Definitely. And remember, our 10 o'clock news starts early tonight for special coverage of campaign 2020. Join us right here at 954 for full coverage of all the local races 